Hello, everyone. It's your Common Sense Editorial team. I'm Tanner. That's Bianca. And every Tuesday, we're here on YouTube with a new review that we publish over on commonsense.org slash education. Review of an ed tech tool, I should say, or something you could use for learning. Today, Bianca has something to show us. So what are we going to take a look at today? Today, we're going to take a look at good old Prezi. Uh, it's possible a lot of you might be familiar with this tool, but just wanted to give a walkthrough to show what it has to offer today because I think uh, it's really cool and versatile and what it is able to accomplish. Uh, so one note, it's free to try. So there is a, an educational version of the tool, um, as you can see here. But there, if you don't mind your presentations being public, uh, you can actually just access Prezi for free, which I think oh. is a nice. So if teachers were just going to be using it then and not having students create, that would be a great option. So it could be free. Yeah, could be free. Um, and you pretty much get access to all the same kinds of features, which is nice too. Um, so how can you teach with this tool? Let's show you. You have uh, presentations that you can create, uh, infographics or video presentations, or you can kind of integrate them together, which I think is cool, particularly this like video presentation within a presentation. <laughs> which might <be> confusing. <laughs> now that I say it out loud. Um, but essentially what you can do is record yourself uh, within Prezi and add it to a presentation so that someone could watch it later. So if you had some kind of like lesson that you wanted to teach or some kind of anything that was asynchronous, you could record yourself doing it um, and plop that onto a presentation. Yeah, so like a screencast where there's kind of like we're doing right now, where there's a little picture of you. Exactly. Your presentation. Yeah. Exactly, so I think that's a, a cool element there, but let's dive into the presentation piece of it. Um, so you can choose from, one of the benefits of this is really the vast library of templates that they have. There's so many um, to pick from here. Uh, let's see, this is just a general category here. Um, but really anything that you can think of is gonna be on here in some format or another. Um, some of it, as you can see, is more for like business development and things like that. But I think there's a pretty substantial use for uh, things in education too. Um, we have Black History Month, Lifestyle style and Wellness. Um, and of course, any of these can be modified too to, to suit the needs that you're looking for in particular. If anything, it might be a challenge to pick which one you want to choose from because there's so many. I, I like the David Bowie template. Yeah. <laughs> I like that that's filed away in education that there's a template for David Bowie. Moon landing, World War II, back to school, David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> with, with a picture. Yeah. Uh, so if you are teaching a lesson on David Bowie specifically, now you know your tool. Um, but it looks like this, I guess, is just for biography, which yeah. is nice. Um, yeah, legacy resources. Uh, so yeah, there's just a, a lot to choose from for, from for teachers and students alike. Um, and then you have general up here, um, with, which are just uh, templates you can start from scratch. So I'll give you an example. You have to title all of them. And then, like I said, if you want to use it for free, then you, I guess you can't see it here, but it says anyone on the internet, basically, or just people that you share it with. You have to click anyone on the internet for it to work. And then you get this. Oops. Um, where you're able to customize these presentations however you'd like. Um, these are the features that you can basically include. So you have stickers, icons, video, audio, um, charts, PowerPoints. You can also use existing, you can upload existing presentations and modify them that way. Um, or like I said, you can start from scratch. So here you have, so uh, if you take a look at the review, we talk a lot about the Zoom feature. Um, that's like one of the perks of this that people seem to really enjoy is that you can like start somewhere and then dive deeper, deeper, deeper into a particular subject. And that's demonstrated in like this really, uh, aesthetically pleasing way. Uh, what do you think so far, Tanner? Anything come to mind? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very familiar with Prezi, but a different era of Prezi. And it is really interesting to see how they've 
scaffolded the design process now. It used to just be you had a giant canvas and you would place things on that canvas and you you could zoom in and out of that canvas and drag and drop things into there. And now it seems like they took that same idea of the infinite canvas that with the motion and like put it inside of Google Slides or PowerPoint so that you can create mm. a familiar slide deck but still have all of the like visual panache that it yeah. used to have, which is an interesting approach. Yeah, and it's it's super, for that reason, I feel like it's really intuitive. Like when you go in, you kind of know where you can find features if you've used something like this before, uh, which is nice. Um, and then, so I just wanna show you too what that Zoom function looks like in practice. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Too many projects on here. I got too excited. Um, let's see if this works, if it'll open. Oh, man. Well, if it works, <laughs> it works. Right? Well, you could kind of see it in your in the one you were building. There. Right, right. You can, you can see how it goes. So on something like this, you can zoom into topic one, topic two as you go through, and it kind of brings you through a sequence. Um, I, I, like I said, I think people really enjoyed that. I feel like maybe for someone who just wants like straight up facts, that could be like a little bit distracting um, if you have to zoom in all the time. Um, but I'm, I'm sure you can control that um, within, you know, the features. Uh, so like I said, you have video here. I, I can just show you quick, oh man. I can show you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you wanna have some demo like. ones, right? Right, um, they did somewhere around here. I could probably show you, let's see, on here. Um, there may be, not exactly, but maybe something along these lines where you can see the person presenting at the same time. Um, but I think you kind of get the gist of what we're talking about with the video presentation. And basically what it does is just pull up, like, uh, I was gonna say a StreamYard, box, but you don't know what that looks like necessarily on the other side, but it just pulls up a box, like something like a photo booth on your Mac. Um, and then you're able to just record there. Um, and then, yeah, with your infographics, you have, <laughs> if you were able to click on them, you could see basically a, a list of different templates, just like you have for, uh, the, the presentations. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Like you see game show, like it gets really interactive um, and students are able to collaborate on projects too. Like if you send it to someone, they're able to um, add anything to the slides as well. So teachers could use it for at home instruction or you know, um, your, your students can use it to teach the class about something they're interested in or, or a presentation they're working on or something like that. Like we saw with the David Bowie example. <laughs> And one last thing to point out here. Oh, what's really cool about this too, they have this Prezi design, which it, it operates kind of like Adobe Express or Canva or something like that, where you can um, kind of make your own graphics. You can do things for, um, um, for social media, like any kinds of graphics that way you can create using these templates here. Um, and then you have all of your supports up here, which are pretty straightforward, how-to videos, your help centers. You can sign up for online training. Um, the help center, I feel, is pretty intuitive too. Um, and it breaks it down into this, these different elements uh, where you're able to present. Um, or if you have questions about video or design, you can kind of select the things that you need help with and they should walk you through it there. Uh, so pretty strong supports here too, which I think is nice, even though the tool itself is pretty intuitive. Yeah, really interesting. It, you know, Prezi is one of those things that as an educator, you're always looking for an edge in terms of engagement, right? So while it may seem a little gimmicky, all the motion and the infinite canvas and and that kind of stuff versus your sort of tried and true PowerPoint, it just gives you that little extra edge of interactivity and dynamism when you're presenting information that may be the thing that brings students into the lesson a little bit better. So yeah, exactly. You can it's definitely see, something worth checking out. You can see some of the infographics here, dashboards, 
um, just a lot of fun stuff to, to poke through. If you're someone who's interested in design or video in any way, I feel like this would be something that would be really useful in the classroom, especially because you can create a lot of these for free. Yeah, for sure. That's it for me. So that is Prezi and naturally we want to see you back next week. So subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you on Tuesday.